Hi, I'm Ryan Wright. And I'm Jerry. Welcome to reasons to see dot com. Not dot net. No, dot com. Where we give you reasons to see. And not to see. Django Unchained! So why don't you and I hang out? Ryan's Consensus. Django Unchained is the reason movies are made. Django Unchained is the reason movies are made. The material written for every cast member is great in this movie, but I must say, the actors instantaneously elevate the already terrific material. I agree with you. Jerry's Consensus. Django Unchained is the reason movies are made. Django Unchained is the reason movies are made. Reason to see number one. Jamie Foxx. We're all thinking the same thing. Is that Jamie Foxx's real penis? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I was thinking about that. Jamie Foxx did a perfect job. It's great how this movie starts off where he's like this broken, timid slave, then arcs into a complete badass, which is 100% believable, by the way. Yeah, he, he anchors everything with this, this cool intensity. A lot of the other characters are much more flashy than Jamie Foxx's, so he occasionally gets outshined, but the performance of Django is much more subtle than everyone else's, as it should be. You see, I, I wouldn't even say he was outshined, uh, partly because, you know, he has to lay low in these situations and he has to sort of silently observe. You know, even when other characters are driving the scenes, he doesn't fade into the background. You can always feel the intensity of what he's feeling and, you know, you can feel the situation at hand sort of emanating off of him. He's, he's always a strong presence. This dude just gets cooler as the movie progresses till the very last frame. Which is of him, like, being so cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're interested in this character right from the get-go, and you're with him the whole way. There's also an uh, innocence to his performance, which makes him that much more likable. And it makes his relationship with Christoph Waltz all the more enjoyable, you know? Mm. Yeah, just really make sure. Reason to see number two, Christoph Waltz. Genius is the word for Christoph Waltz. Electrifying. I liked him more in this than I did in Inglorious Bastards because he has that same level of freedom to his performance, but this time he's playing the protagonist. It is gratifying because like he's so good at playing a deliciously evil guy. Mm -hmm. And now to see him put all that charisma into, you know, a, a really likable guy that it's okay to like yeah. is a lot of fun. He's badass, he's hilarious, he's witting. At the same time, he's very caring. The dude kills with practically no regret, wh whoever he has to kill. But at the same time, he's a compassionate guy. The buddy aspect between Christoph Waltz and, and Jamie Foxx is just so fun to watch, you know? Like, I could watch hours of Django and Schultz just hanging out. And, you know, it's so much fun to watch their relationship grow from, you know, a small agreement into a partnership, into a true friendship. You know, he helps Django find his, his legs to stand on, and once he does, it really feels like they're equals. Reason to see number three, Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio comes in late into this movie, but regardless of his late arrival, which, by the way, nothing before him is boring at all, you, you kind of forget that he's one of the stars of this movie. But anyway, he, he comes in late, but it's for some reason at the right time. You know, there are definitely moments where, where he's pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> he's a sociopathic lunatic who like thinks he's very sophisticated. I love him as the villain because you can see the charm, you can see how he persuades his people, you can feel his dark, passionate emotions, and you totally believe that back then men like him existed, which makes him that much scarier. It's weird because he's kind of a punk, but he's also got this high classness but in the end, it's not even like he's actually fully in control, so it's a it's a fascinating character to look at. He's just so deliciously slimy. He's a villain you love to watch, but in the same breath, you don't want him to succeed, and you can't wait to see him get his ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's, he deserves a good ass kicking, and that's a hard line to balance. It's great to see an actor who usually plays leading men turn into a terrifying, but more importantly, a believable villain. I'm just so happy that this guy is fictional and not a real person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not we're not used to seeing him play such ugly characters. <laughs> and you know, he always feels dangerous and like he could snap at any second. Like you never feel quite comfortable around him even though he's got the, all the southern charm, you know. Mhm. Mm southern charm. Reason to see number 4. Carrie Washington. 
She is beautiful. I bought her as a slave who can speak German. Just that fear she emits in the situations that she's put in makes her that much more believable. It makes the whole story that much more believable. Her role isn't huge, but it is important. She does a good job with what she's given, and she really sells these horrible situations that she keeps getting put in, you know, at the hands of these slave drivers. When they pull her out of that hot box, man, you can't help but cringe. <laughs> You know, she's put in a lot of situations where you can't help but cringe. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> she just feels so goddamn sorry for her. I feel like a bad person retroactively <laughs> because of this. Reason to see number five, Samuel L. Jackson. The old slave who betrayed his own people. Yeah, man, he's an Uncle Tom, you know? He's, uh, he's pretty scary. Samuel Jackson, good or bad, is always scary. Reasons not to see Samuel Jackson in person. In person, <laughs> he he will yell at you. He's another character who comes in late into the film, but yet again, just at the right time with just the right amount of screen time. He's one of those characters who who has this sort of you know facade, but you get the sense that there's something really dangerous about him too. And it's uncomfortable to watch because, you know, you become afraid of him as well. And it's not just the main credited actors that are solid. Every one of the cast members in this film, perfectly solid. 